Any thoughts on gold? Shift to the subject. I'm starting to. Were you looking peeking at my notebook? No, no. I mean, I, I couldn't read it if I wanted to. I'm not going to show you the rest of it, but I got one ticker here that I wrote down on the long side. Gold. Yep. GLD. Uh, long side. On a pullback. Now, I'm, I'm picky. As you know, I didn't want to chase it at 11.15, uh, the price 11.15 last week at the highs. Um, but, you know, there, there's an immediate term trade breakout line basically at, t uh, at 10.79. Uh, I'm talking about spot, spot price of gold. You know, so that, if that holds, gold is starting to develop just very immediate term day trading, what we call, you know, again, trade momentum. And again, that's defined as price volume volatility. So what's happening is that gold is going up on accelerating volume and the volatility signal starting to dampen. So what you want to do is buy securities that are seeing a breakdown in volatility, rising price and rising volume. That's why I built it that way. Uh, it's very intuitive, it makes sense, and most importantly, it works. Uh, if it were to break the trade line, you're just back to just the same old crappy gold uh, that you could have been losing money in since 2012. Um, so that's why I'm waiting. I, I'm, I'm very patient, uh, more patient with gold than with some of my children. Um, you know, because again, there's so many people that are long gold. I mean, the reality is it was a good idea off the lows. It's a really good idea if the Fed comes to our economic view, because what they do is try to devalue the dollar, they try to cut rates after raising them. I just don't think that they're going to do that anytime soon. I mean, the Fed's Rosengren, Darius, I'm sure you saw this this morning. Uh, he's the Boston Fed head. Mm -hmm. uh, he's That's all gung-ho. I mean, I said, you go, rate hike pro. You <laughs> yeah. go. You know, these guys want to go. I mean, just let them go.